In this unit, we explore various simulation modes supported by the heat solver. The system of equations solved for a heat transport simulation allow both a steady state and time varying solutions. In a steady state, the time dependent terms of the equations become zero. Steady state simulations can be used to examine the system's behavior at a fixed operating point. The heat sources and boundary conditions are specified for a particular operating point and the steady state thermal response of the system will be obtained by the solver. Results may include a spatial temperature profile such as the one shown here. Alternatively, by specifying an initial condition for the temperature and electric field if required, the equations can be solved in a sequence of discrete times. The time-dependent behavior of the component can then be used to directly evaluate its time domain response. For example, as illustrated here, the change in the temperature profile of the system as a function of time can be simulated using this mode. Users may be interested in simulation of Joule heating, which is also known as ohmic heating. This is a process by which the passage of an electric current through a conductor produces heat. The heat solver has a thermal and conductive mode for studying the thermal response to Joule heating in an electrically driven system. For instance, as shown here, the thermal response of an electric heater can be easily simulated. Later in the course, we will walk you through some simple simulation examples for all the solver modes mentioned in this unit.